Hey there, today I'm so excited to bring to you my channeled message from my Arcturian Guides for February mid-month 2020. And you know, what a delight I've been feeling. I mean, my guides had me awake again at 3.33 today. And so I, I was alerted and sitting awake and going, okay, I'm ready for you. Tell me what you got for me. and you know it was like they were announcing themselves with amusement and I thought okay so what's so funny <laughs> and actually they started blowing on my nose I could sense it and I could see them energetically blowing on my nose trying to wake me up have you been noticing yourselves woken up with let's say bells or doorbells or slight little tingle 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 so anyways, my guys were saying that they were trying to get my attention. What was interesting is I thought I was calling them in. So there's a sense of perception. In, and in previous months, my guides have been talking about our change in perception. So they were amused with my perception that they are outside of me. And what they explained to me is that I'm in their bubble, not them coming into my bubble. So there's this whole sense of inversion of me understanding that I'm part of their world, not them coming to be part of my world. And it was really, it was really significant for me because it was a sense of, oh, I keep thinking I'm so significant. Well, we are, but it's not the sense of the significance of what they are in terms of the relationship to the universe. So that was a very profound experience. And they explained to me that we're all trying to figure out what this thing is awakening. And there's a lot of so-called experts out there trying to explain to you what that means. And they want you to know, first of all, that you're here, you're already awakening. And as I've mentioned in previous uh, videos, they explained that seeing sequence of numbers and symbols is very relevant. So the other day I saw 1010, then I saw 1111 on my phone, and then a little later I saw 1212. Now, I thought that was interesting. And what Spirit's trying to explain to us, and they showed me, is just like on our globe or a map, you have longitude and you have latitude. And where those places intersect is where perhaps your location is in terms of looking at it from a satellite. And what they explained is they have something similar where they're located is in longitude and latitude, but time and space. So it's a different dimension. It's a different perspective. And if we imagine ourselves stepping into ripples, that's where they're hanging out. And they also explained that that's where we go when we leave this body in terms of when we die or when you refer to heaven. It's another level of frequency. It's not a place, in a sense, it's a place, but it's a place, but it's here also. If Does that make any sense? So it's like we lose sense of our physical body when we die, or we lose sense of our loved ones, their physicalness when they die, but then it's like dialing into a frequency to be able to access them. And that is starting to happen for more and more of us of a regular basis connecting with our loved ones. They might first start coming in in your dreams and then they're going to start coming in where you see a symbol or you see their face and you're just a thought. And that's how they're going to be saying, hello, I'm here. So in my previous messages, they also explained that there's an interdimensional shift that's occurring. Perhaps you've heard it's been said, the veil is lifting. The veil between this world and the other worlds. Zuh. There's many worlds. And so as we start to understand that this 3D world is extremely limited, and as our perception expands to way beyond ourselves, then we understand what and how important our frequency is. As, as I talked about previously in messages, is that we're raising our vibration and using the quantum energy tools or meditations or guided visualizations that give you a way to release these denser, lower frequencies of energy. By releasing these energies, we can raise our vibration and that helps us connect with the other dimensions and frequencies. And so 
when they send you a signal of 11-11 perhaps, or 12-12 like I did, or 3-3-3, they're alerting you that it's a hello. It's like ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a hello, I'm here. So they are activating a sense within us that they are present. And so it's not them showing up. They're always there. It's us being able to connect. Does that make any sense? So I asked them, you know, what, what's the relevance of this and why is this so important for you to know? And they explained to me that there are many more people that are rapidly leaving this physical realm and are going into other dimensions of reality. So there's some of you that are grieving, you know, for a loss of a loved one and or grieving the loss as you know that someone's very ill and the separation or the anxiety over your own um, departure from this world. And what they're trying to help us understand is that we don't go anywhere. And the more that we refine our energetic frequencies, the more we can con stay connected with not only our loved ones, but also the other loved ones that have preceded us but we can also connect with our angels and other loved ones that we don't even remember from this particular incarnation. So there's many souls beyond that are loving us and cheering for us and helping us raise this vibration. And that's what we're in the midst of doing. And being that this month, this month of February that we on earth allocate as the month of love, they're saying that we are stepping up the vibration. We are anchoring this new vibration into this plane and you and I were acknowledging it on the 3D world we're sending each other love greetings and 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 feeling different feeling the vibration of embracing and acceptance and and wanting to see some positive changes in our own lives and so that's the relevance of actually you know doing our practice and continually releasing these lower densities of vibrations so that we can have this continual stream of connection, not only with our heart, our heart of hearts and what's important to us and what makes us get up in the morning and go, yes, it's listening to these little messages as our guides show us every step of the way. I was talking to a friend earlier and she was saying, you know, I was just having coffee with my daughter and I just heard in my head, I've got a dark spot in the center of my eye. And moments later, her daughter said to us, mom, you've got a dark spot in the center of your eye. Maybe you got some mascara here. And she said, I just heard that. So she was perceiving the thought. So thoughts are frequencies. You're gonna notice a lot more of this occurring. The other day I was deep, arm, arms deep in my painting and Spirit was telling me, you know, make sure you cover the floor really good. I put down all these drop cloths and I put cardboard down and I had my rubber gloves and I was all covered up. Well, I was being very careful because I was working on the floor where my paint cups and how I was stepping and being very diligent and methodical. Guess what? In doing what I was doing, I used an elbow and knocked over almost a, a quarter cup of paint and yes it fell over to the carpet that I had rolled back but I had the drop cloth on and thank God I had a tool like a spoon so I could scoop up the paint and retrieve it it was all clean so I listened right the accident still happened but I had a way to pick up the paint to make it as 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 minimal as of an of a inconvenience as possible. So every step of the way we're being shown, but we've got to be listening, paying attention, following it and trusting it because you will be shown and you are being guided and it's becoming more and more clear, but you got to be listening. And so asking spirit for a little more guidance, you know, I was shuffling the cards, my soul wisdom cards that I created during my last creative <laughs> surge of energy. And this is the card that I pulled for us today. And you know, to me, it's a reminder too that many of us are still truly asleep. And we're, you know, when we think we're dreaming, and what's happening on the dream time, we think, wow, that's so profound and these crazy messages are coming through. Quite honestly, I start thinking that maybe our awake time is really when we're sleeping and spirit's trying to wake us up to a conscious awakening. And you know, you see this fuzzy wuzzy rabbit and this 
in this kitty cat here. They're, to me, they're representing our guides, our, our soft, gentle guidance that's nudging us along. You know, bunnies represent, you know, they're always afraid. They're afraid of their own shadow, it seems. So what fears are keeping you stuck that you're not aware of, that it's time to let go of? And the cat, you know, looking at us, and cats have nine lives, right? So we too probably have nine lives or more. And so we will continue after this life. I'm also reflecting here on the clock. Maybe you feel that time is pressuring you or you're, you don't have enough time for you. And as I've said before, and I, my guidance says, if you don't have 15 minutes for meditation or energy clearing, then you need half an hour. If you don't have half an hour to meditate, you need an hour. Okay, look at this uh, crab claw grabbing his hand here while he's sleeping. Are there pitfalls along the way in this awakening process? Yes, there are. We do have accidents. Yes, we do have obstacles. Yes, we do have demons on the path that we've got to clear out of the way or better yet, remove ourselves from that path. And I love the cantilabra, you know, illuminations, us awakening into this light. And, you know, at this point, some of this light is even unseen because we're closed eyes, because we're sleeping, you know. And so I'm reflecting on the barn-like structure at the bottom of the card next to the light and there's a cross there to me that symbolizes us stepping in through a spiritual doorway into the barnyard into where the darkness has been sheltered you know or the darkness has been held we're stepping in that is the doorway of spirituality whatever faith you follow is the doorway into illumination and to finding your truth and then I asked Spirit to show me through one of my paintings where we're at today and, and explain more of what this energy is all about. And you know, here's the painting. I'm looking for a name on this painting, so maybe you'd like to help me out and leave a comment below. And for the winning name, I'm going to offer you a 30 minute energy clearing. All right. So, you know, when I look at this painting, I just feel illuminating love. And although it's more subtle than most of my paintings, this one, this soft pink reminds me of rose quartz and the gold it shimmers through the paint. You can't see it in this in this image and you know I want to say that I did a an art show for a charity event er, earlier this week and 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 several of my clients were there and said to me Amira wow you know your paintings really don't show very well in the images and I said I know that is a problem how do you show the multiple dimensions of the paintings so I've declared now I am an energy artist so here you go the the the, the gold and the sparkles go into the paint and it is a multi dimensional and we are going into a realm a new dimension there's a new vibration of love as we're stepping into it we're in it it's not outside of ourselves so the new level of energy that you're being challenged you're asked to embrace and to raise your frequency so that you can have more of this is the pure essence of all of what creation is and that's love 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 permeates in every everything that exists so I worked with a client earlier this week and and the message she received was you know step into that vibration of rose quartz imagine that rose quartz running through your energy channels be the rose quartz sit in meditation and connect with it it's not in your head it's with your heart that you connect so I hope that message resonates with you. Um, it's my true pleasure and joy to deliver this to you, to encourage and inspire you. And Spirit wants you to know that you're doing all the right things as you listen to your heart more. As you're on the path, the signs and symbols will show you, ah, you're on the right path. So pay attention when you get a symbol or a number that keeps repeating. Tune into what were your thoughts just previous to that message or that symbol? And what is spirit trying to confirm or validate for you? Okay, other than that, listen to the messages because they might be unique for you. They're not on some Google page that has all your answers. All right, so I hope that helps. Many blessings to you with so much love. I'll look forward to seeing you on my next video. Hey, Amira. Everything is just turning out to be absolutely amazing. I actually 
have no words. I don't know how to thank you. Things are just turning out to be fabulous. First thing first, I was constantly listening to our previous recording, and I've just realized that how much I blabber, and you just have to bear with me. I mean, like, you've been asking me different questions, and I've been answering you differently, and you were so sweet and kind enough to just go along with the flow. And uh, the interesting part was I did the uh, – I was listening to the stress buster doing it not very frequently, but I think I missed it twice or thrice, but then the rest of the days I was constantly on it. Uh, once we finished our session, as I mentioned in my email, I did get the second deal. But, uh, I just met the father today, so hopefully by tomorrow the payment should be done and th things should be going on. Things are getting much better. First, after our second session, I thought that it wasn't as strong as the first one. But as days passed by, things started changing. Things started happening in a good way. So I realized that whatever was happening was happening for good. And I learned a couple of major lessons that I've been, pre I've been preaching them for years, but I've never practiced them. And I could never imagine myself that today I'm sitting in a point where I'm actually practicing them. And that is, after listening to the first uh, class, the, the chakra, the first of the base chakra, there are a few things that noted up which I wanted to discuss with you, and that was letting go of the anger that I have towards my brother, my mother, totally in, uh, within my family that I could never forgive them. I could never accept them unconditionally for what they did to me and the kind of life I live. And I, all, I came to this whole journey just to prove them that see how wrong you guys are and look at me, how powerful I am right now. So a lot of realization, and I also learned something with this journey, and that was after a second session, is that remember the first time when I came to you, you said that you wanted to give me a book about busting the, the money game, and then you were saying that money is not – back of my mind, I was saying that, Amira, stop saying this. I, I mean, like, I know all this, but I really require money and things like that. But then after this <laughs> – I'm being honest. I'm being honest. But then after the second session, I actually learned that – I, I, that, that I felt the diffuse of the money energy that I was holding on to. It's like I don't actually require money. That's where I attracted so many things in my life. Like I, I always wanted an, a new iPod Touch, and I thought that, okay, I'm not going to pay for it, and I'm going to attract it, and then automatically it comes to me. And there's so many other things, a lot of res more respect, more trust from people who would hardly trust any other energy workers, so they started trusting me, more respect, I'm more calm. I'm like, yeah, what the hell? Life is like this. I've actually felt detached. And if, at this point, if I don't have money, I don't panic. I'm like, hey, okay, it's fine. And that's where I see things are happening, good things are actually happening. And my heart feels from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. This is absolutely amazing.